Welcome back, episode 368, Nitty Gritty Sports Talk Radio Show. I go by the name of Roscoe English, and of course, I'm here with the flock. Got my guy Keys with me. What's going on? How y'all feeling out there? My man Nick. What up? And of course, last but not least, Keith PJ. Sco, what's going on? Hey man, can't complain. Seen the best of times, worst of times. Um, I start with y'all. Let's get right to it. Ravens defeat the Dolphins 56 to 19. No, I did not misspeak. An NFL team did that to another NFL team. 56 to 19. Tattoo tour. 22 completions, 237 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Future MVP two times. Lamar Jackson, 18 completions, 321 yards, five touchdowns. Yeah, I was looking. My father was looking at the highlights, but um, then we talked about it on, on a breakdown. You know that it was it was all this game was, you know, Lamar had a chance to put a stamp on the MVP race, um, which he did. It just is a, a benefit to what you know. You look at the game, you see the way he's seeing the game, you see the way he's seeing the defense. Um, he's playing, you know, amazing right now, and it is a reason why he will be the two time MVP. Coming to the game, knowing what's on the line. Um, you come to the game knowing that you know with a win, your team play well. You wrap up the number one seed. Um, you get the bye, you get the extra rest. So it was impressive. Um, you know to see see the defense and the offense playing units and like that. And it's like you know, uh, it's finally looking like the coaching is starting to you know get in tune with the game. They they seem like they 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 knowing what's going on, seeing what's going on, going forward on fourth down, the right decisions, taking points in the right decision, punting in the right decisions. Um. You know, it, it seemed like it's finally he's finally putting his players in the right position to succeed, and he's taking full advantage of it. Um, is is a team right now? You know, besides the injuries, that's clicking. That that's really clicking. You you can see everything coming together. Um, they clearly are the team to beat. You know, you just you at, at this point, you know, you get you you rest some key players Sunday. Um, you know, but you still got to keep your foot on the pedal. It's still a game that you want to go out and win. It's still a game. That you want to knock them out of the playoffs, um, you know, just to feel good. But at the end of the day, like I said, you did what you had to do. You locked up everything you need to lock up. I um, mean, the, the most important part is to get your your healthy, your key players healthy for uh, for the divisional round. But all in all, you know, great performance by the Ravens. Great performance like Lamar. I don't think we've seen him play better. Maybe the Colts game, a few games here and there, maybe. But we we haven't seen you know him play the way he's played. So he deserves all the credit. Um, hopefully, he can shut up some of the bandwagon. You know. That you know, some of the, the national media that's still talking trash about it, but um, great win. And I, I, there's not too much to say about the Dolphins other than they 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 really not that good of a team. Um, you know, they're a finesse team, they banged up too. Everybody's banged up on this time, but they you know, they they not that good of a team. They, yeah, you you, you can see that, but we we've been saying it all year. We've been it's not like we, we see the rape, they the Ravens blowing the blue them out, and we saying like, oh no, the Dolphins are a bad team. We take it, no, we've been we literally been saying this all year that they haven't beat anybody up until Dallas. Um, and the tape showed it. The tape showed it. It was like, it was, you know, they, they couldn't compete. It, it was, you know, coaching, everything, athletes, players. It was just like they, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a contest. Um, and I don't know, you know, what's going to happen as far as injury wise with them Sunday, but I don't, it, Sunday not looking, Sunday not looking, not looking good for the Dolphins either. Yeah, that was a, that was a huge victory, huge victory. And uh, it's been a string of huge victories by the Ravens as far as, um, this stretch that we went on, we talked about coming out the buy that, you know, it was going to say a lot about what type of team we are and uh, just how serious we were with contention. And, you know, you look at it, the Ravens have a, a plus 170 point differential this season against teams with a winning record, um, which is the most in the Super Bowl era. Um, we have on paper probably the hardest or the second uh, toughest sc- schedule uh, going into the season and during the season and to be able to do that against winning teams, to be able to dominate and and have that type of point differential, that means you're dominating great teams. And we've seen that recently. Uh, I wanted to shout out, uh, obviously, Lamar Jackson. I think we all can say he's uh, – the only, the only question now is it a unanimous MVP. Is he going to be uh, – uh, join himself and Tom Brady's the only players to get a unanimous MVP. So he would be two times in that regard. Uh, and that's the only question. Now, I don't see how as a voter, you could sit down and say, you know what, let me pick Christian McCaffrey. 
you know what, let me just sit here and pick Brock Purdy. I think Lamar has proven it. You wanted the numbers. He gave you a Jackson 5. He gave you a Jackson 5. You say, you know what, I'm tired of handing off my touchdown to Gus Edwards. I get this all the way down here, and then I hand it off at the one to Gus Edwards. Let me let me actually throw these bitches now. You know what I mean? You, and, uh, you know, it's like, we talking numbers? Are we talking numbers? Okay, well, here you go. <laughs> um and, and then and listen, man, the, the Ravens have proven that by and far they're the best team in the NFL. Uh, we want to go into it as underdogs. Obviously, Lamar has talked about that being the mentality and, and wanting to not believe the hype. But I mean, it's kind of hard not to believe the hype when, you know, uh, you lead the league in point differential as a whole. Right. So, you, you know, plus 210. The next uh, highest team is the 49ers at plus 194. So, again, point differential is very important. It says that when you lose, you're not losing by much. And when you win, you win big. So, uh, sh shout out to the Ravens in that regard. Lamar in that regard played awesome. Zay Flowers, Zay Likely, uh, Odell Beckham. They said that Odell Beckham was uh, the Im most improbable completion of Lamar's career. You know, they call him Odell Beckham for a reason. The only thing I worry about is is injuries with him. It's not it's not effective. Effectiveness is not talent. It's, you know, those knickknack, those knickknack injuries that occur. But uh, I've loved what I've, I've received from him and the leadership that he's given us. And then that timely playmaking as well. Um, shout out to Mike McDonald, too, because, you know, he made a huge adjustments in the second half uh, to slow down tremendously to tattoo tour and that and that finesse offense that Miami Dolphins had you know in the first half they were throwing across the middle they thought they were just going to get whatever they wanted and basically in the second half Mike McDonald said you know we're just going to stop sending extra pressure we're going to stop sending extra blisters and uh they only gained 43 yards in the second half you know 3.1 yards per play you know um when we have a defense like that that can stifle folk and you have a, a offense like uh, we have, which is second in the NFL in, in, in scoring offense and obviously the number one scoring defense. It's going to be tough to beat us at M&T Bank Stadium. Uh, the only question now is do we rest our starters week 18? Obviously, you can't rest everybody. You got to actually put some people out there on the field to dress. You can't rest everybody. I think the people that banged up, let them sit out. Um, as far as key starters, though, especially on offense, Lamar, me personally, I love to see him play at least a quarter preferably a half, want them to stay in rhythm. I don't want us to sit there and say, oh, well, we have two weeks of rest and, you know, we'll let somebody win a playoff game and then come into our uh, our stadium and, and have their best shot at us. Now, nah, I want to stay as fresh as strategically possible. I get that you don't want Lamar out there for an entire game. I get it. I don't either. But that doesn't mean I don't want him getting reps. That's me personally, though. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. Um, briefly talked about it Friday coming into the game. The Dolphins were 0-3 against playoff teams on the road with a negative 49-point uh, differential. Uh, you come into the bank Sunday, we added 37 points to that. So they, they've kind of shown you when they go against the upper echelon of teams, especially on the road, um, now 0-4 with a negative 86-point differential, they're really not. Who they're who they're fit out to be. Um, they're a finesse team. You saw that early kind of came out. We you saw we kind of missed Kyle early on, but Nick just alluded to the adjustments that McDonald made. Um, I can't talk about I can't talk enough about Odell Beckham and just the uh, just the uh, the bevy of weapons that Lamar has now. It's different. It's different when you have players that can go make plays for you. Um, I think about the play that Odell down the sideline. I think about the one hand catch by Likely. Like these are plays that receivers have not made historically over the last four or five years for Lamar Jackson. He has those weapons now. He has those trust in his receivers now, and it shows. Um, I've been saying it since the Detroit game. He is the MVP of this league. Uh, he cemented it on Sunday. He stamped it. Um, hell of a performance. But but now, like like Bean say, the job not done. And so now it's like Nick just alluded to. How can you strategically approach the Steelers game Saturday? Um, we look, we sat him against the Steelers four or five, four years ago in 2019. Uh, we went into that Titans game with two weeks, two weeks plus rest, and it didn't look good. We came out flat. We came out lethargic. We weren't able to execute. Obviously that was a younger team then, uh, a little bit more seasoned now. So I, I kind of side with you too, Nick. I, I wouldn't mind seeing them for a quarter or a half, but I also don't want to risk the chance of injury, especially for Lamar especially going against the rival Steelers. We know how TJ is. 
Um, so Minka would love to go at a Minka not even playing. Minka yeah. not even playing. But, uh, Thank God. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. But I but I, I know how they, I know how they are in that regard. But still going back to Sunday, Justice Hill. We've talked about him. He came out, had a hell of a performance. He was big in the return game. Um Big in the pass game, we were killing that linebacker forty five with that uh that wheel route all day. He could do nothing with that route. Uh, Monken just dialing it up, man. And we we've talked about it, and I said it from the beginning of the season. I wanted to see how this offense matured quarter by quarter throughout the season, and here we are in the fourth quarter of the season, and the offense is truly blossoming and looking like something that can really be a threat come January. So I'm encouraged, but it's a lot of work still to be done for this football team. Like this is. This is just one notch in a belt. Like it's a lot more work to be done. Yeah, I wanted to uh go back to your point about 2019. That was a great point. And that's my only fear is uh we're in the exact same situation. That's the blessing, though, exactly. right? Because yeah. we've we've waited a long time to get back to this point. It felt like certain seasons we were kind of cheated out of because Lamar would get a fluke injury towards the end of the season, or um, you know, just had injury riddled se- seasons as far as the entire team. So we haven't been able to feel this feeling and get this kind of revenge back uh, for seasons now. So it's good to be here, but it's also a cautionary tale. I remember Tennessee game. Like I remember staring out my window, <laughs> looking into space, asking what the meaning of life was. I don't, I didn't like that <laughs> feeling and, you know, to rest or not to rest. It is it, like, it's one of those situations where you screwed whatever choice you make, right? Because if you if you rest your starters and you come out r- rusty, it's like, oh, they should have played their, their starters. If you don't rest their starters and someone gets hurt, it's like, oh, why would you do that? You know, that's not even a playoff game. It's a meaningless game. So, it, but my thing is, the only thing that cautions me is we don't have a guy or guys that are, have been in this position before successfully we've had we know the failure aspect of it. we don't have anybody maybe calvin Noy that's kind of gone through this situation to where uh they can kind of instruct or give best advice or best practice on, in this particular type of situation our other players are harkening back on the failure of 2019 right so I, it'd be interesting to see if they move forward with the same path or if they pivot and try something new um and John Harbaugh is going to be the leader of that. He's going to be the one that's going to keep these guys or supposed to keep these guys fresh for two weeks. It, I just would feel like if Roquan was coming from a championship environment, if Lamar already had a championship, I would say rest them. They already mentally, they know what this will take. They will be fresh and ready for two weeks. Key word on ready. I just don't know if we have that mental experience of doing that before. And I would like to... I I don't know how you do it because again nobody wants to see anybody get hurt. We had so many injuries last week. I thought, damn, are we going to be, be able to make it through this game <laughs> with a solid defense afterwards? But I don't know, man. What do you think, Keys? Um, for, as far as the, we talking about, as far as the rest, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah. I, I say rest them. Rest them all. Um. Rest your main players. At this point, you like I said, the biggest thing for me going into the playoffs right now was health. If the Ravens healthy, I don't think you can beat them. Um, I, I think that, but if you missing some, missing some of your cornerbacks because of injury, if you if you you know you could, your your quarterback get a, a tweak his ankle or something like that, that's what makes uh you know that that divisional round a little bit more scary. I, I'm okay with the rest. Um, they did what they had to do. You 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 get to this point in the season and you get you afforded the rest because you 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 know you're 14 and three. You play well. You you blow up Miami. I don't need to see Lamar play next this weekend against against uh, the Steelers. Now, some of the other players maybe get more rest, but I, I'm I'm cool with Lamar sitting. Um, I, I think he's fine. I, I think he's at the point of his career now where he's locked in. Um, and he's fine. He just he, he just gonna need more practice time uh, leading up to it. You can't you can't just have him completely off for a week. But I don't see the point in playing him and on against the Steelers. Like they, they, I don't see a point in playing in a game that don't mean nothing. That, now, that's my thing. That's now, my thing about it. Now let me ask you, because mm-hmm. we don't trust John Harbaugh coming out of Bowie, right? Do you? How do you? How is your feeling about I, Mr. John? I mean, right yeah. now, and like I said, it's like y'all, y'all know how I feel about John Harbaugh. How I think he's a terrible coach, whatever. But he has been coaching better the last couple of weeks, so I'll give him the benefit of doubt and say whatever okay. he decided to do, I'm cool with that. He because okay. he has, like I said, the last three weeks he has been making the right decisions, 
has a Pennsylvania right now. Like that guy, one they've was, been ready to. Yeah, they've been ready to play. Like they've been <clears> ready to go out the door. So I'm cool with that. if he chooses to play him. I'm cool with that. If he chooses to rest, I'm cool with that. Um, only because the way he's been calling these games the last couple of weeks, he he restored a little bit of faith. But at the end of the day, one all, one bad decision from John can all wipe this shit away. Uh, we all know that. And and to piggyback on that point, Nick, um, if you look at the Ravens coming out there by the most competitive game they've had since that was the game out of the bye first the Rams. And maybe it's the maybe it was the Rams. Maybe they are who we've bigged them up to be, but maybe it was just coming out that break and having that rest. Because outside of that, we've looked like an explosive, almost virtually unstoppable football team. Like that's been our only test, and that was coming off of a bye. And I, I mean, if you if you let if you leave it to Lamar, Lamar's going to play. Like he's going to say, I'm, "I'm going out there. I want to play." Um, that's why I think John Harbaugh need to take sticks from in this week. But I but I get your point about, about the reps. But it's like reps are reps. But it's like, are, are these going to be empty reps? Like, are, 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 are we going to force? Are they going to be quality reps? Right? Yeah, are they going to be? We're going to be match protecting like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing here? Are we, are we coming out this game? Like a rug game, but I don't think you can do that when you know what you're not. It don't, the game means absolutely nothing to the Ravens. Uh, it, it means zero. So, so that's that's my point. Like that's my thing about it. It's like, are we going to be dialed in? Like they're going to be dialed in for Miami, and I think that's a big, that's a big hundred percent no. So it, just, like, it, it just sucks because this team. Uh, we, we mentioned it like before. We we were scoring a lot of points, but we never felt like. Uh, there was a uh, consistent theme with the offense. It's been a model of consistency this last three, four weeks, as far as the explosiveness, the sustainment of drives. Um, like yesterday or Sunday, we had about four or five straight scoring drives where we were just laying it on Miami, and that was the difference in the game. They couldn't recover. Mm-hmm. Week before, I think it was seven Same straight scoring, guys, scoring drives on the 49ers. Laying it on them, they couldn't recover. That is rhythm. That is momentum. You can't, football. you can't you can't uh uh ignore that. And mm-hmm. to your point though, I don't know how you can continue to replicate that when you're calling max protect, where you're doing uh r- when you're running the ball first or second down, third down, you're not being that aggressive. Like if he's out there, Maybe it's Lamar. gonna be vanilla, you know. So right. and Lamar talked about being in the zone too. Um so like if if you could tell you in the zone, you're not in the zone. We've been an underdog all season. We like to keep it that way. This last week, we were about to get towed up, uh, you know, however they said it. But our team, you know, we, we take that to heart, and we go out there and play football. You got to go take it, and that, that's what we do. Y'all really believe that y'all been underdogs? We have, Scott. You ain't pick us to win the Super Bowl? You haven't picked us the last two weeks, have you? Said, you said the Bengals will win the division. Right. You picked the Niners and the you Dolphins. You picked the Niners and the Dolphins. In May, in May before <laughs> Joe got hurt. In May before Joe got hurt. We the underdogs, baby. <laughs> uh, I was telling y'all. I've been telling not y'all now. all year. Like, not yeah. now. We y'all, not, y'all but, now. All, but underdogs. I've been yeah. telling anybody, y'all all year. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody believing us all year. Now the hype the hype train is now. But you, been you've been you've been here. I mean, not, I'm not saying you personally. I'm saying, but you've been here with people saying. You've been here with everybody been saying. Now that we've done with the 49ers ask, ass and with the Dolphins ass, now, ask now Odell things go if different. he feel like y'all are underdogs. Ask Odell if he the feel people, like y'all the underdogs. The people in the locker room Chew not going to feel that way. They're not going to feel Chew that way. Chew it up. Chew that shit up. Nah, fellas, this is a good ass feeling, man. This is probably the best team. Not probably. This is the best team I've ever been on from the top to the bottom. Uh, we set ourselves up for success. You know what I mean? It's got to come through the bank in these black and purple unis. Go through this defense. This offense is crazy, man. Everything's right in front of us, so let's go ahead. Keep preparing, y'all. Enjoy this moment. You know what I mean. It don't come. It don't come by every now and then. So just enjoy this moment. Enjoy the night. Happy New Year, all that. Sound like everything but an underdog. Yo, Sco, keep you it played real. with a two-time Super Bowl champ, yo. Keep it, keep it real. You saw Roquan in that clip, right? That nigga yeah. could replace John Majors for Kang, couldn't he? <laughs> nigga look just like him. He, he can act, yeah. Man, he been talking, yeah. That's Kane the Conqueror right there, nigga. He got and he ain't talking. He, talk, they they he not wardrobe talking wardrobe like underdog. Yeah. Let's put a robe on that nigga. Same wardrobe, country ass niggas. Oh, but we definitely, we definitely, don't, <laughs> definitely, not, definitely not the underdog no more though. That, that's Do we right. know what Roquan look that's like? Like, we, we know what his look like. <laughs> Listen, that man. headline he got, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yo. That's a little him and John got the same, same yeah, haircut, iffy. probably the same barber and shit. <laughs> if I see him with one of us, like, all right, what you hot, nigga? Anyway, y'all not underdogs. Not no more. Yo, y- y- y'all, y'all haven't been for the long, not for no the more. longest.
for the longest. Hey, hey, but man, I, I respect. We not. We, if that's we what y'all got to do to lock in. Us. Yeah, if y'all, if that's what y'all got to do to lock in, I respect it. I mean, not underdogs. We were just six point underdogs at San Francisco. We, they did yeah. say like, they did say they were gonna like wallop us. Right? We was only three and a, we was only three and a half favorites against the man. We only got the three points to being home. Yeah, like come on, we are underdogs. <laughs> we had to take I mean, that respect. Like I, I said, mean? not now, not now, not like right, right, not right now. But a couple I weeks ago, y'all. A couple weeks I, ago, yeah. Even I didn't go that far against San Francisco. I just said I needed to see it. I didn't go as far as Mike Florio. Mike Florio wild out. My floor y'all ain't got your ass kicked all year. Ass <laughs> yeah, like, junior. Nick, nigga's gonna get the floor, the Florio shirt. Oh, come, 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 Super Bowl time to get there. It's, it's, we gonna thank Mike Florio. Super Bowl time. It's a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> the Nitty Florio shirt. Yeah, it's been, it's real, it's been different since he been talking trash. You had another yeah. uh another clip, Keith. Oh, yeah, Lamar talked about ending the season on a on a good note. He won't beat us. Why would I want to beat y'all. <laughs> Why I mean, beat us? Beat us? Why but I don't want to beat y'all like the Spencer. Yeah, yeah. Tyler can beat y'all. Tyler can beat y'all. Tyler, that's, Tyler that's I, don't, I don't care that much. I don't care. Tyler ain't gonna lose. Tyler ain't, ain't losing to Mason Rudolph. Like, yeah, like y'all lost to Anthony Brown or whatever. Like, uh, Huntley can beat y'all. If you, if, if you want to take the sweep, if you want to take the sweep of all season, so, if you want to take the sweep of all season, that's cool. That's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. Long as Lamar's out there, I ain't tripping. <laughs> Yo, a season sweep, a season sweep during this season is nasty. Yo, that shit is disgusting. Saying uh, we have four losses. Give me some talking points. Give me some talking points. It's not even a game points. you watch with your crew for, bro. Like, you just, you just kick back. Oh. You. I'm like mad that y'all had this lead. Like, it pisses me off because, like, this game really don't mean nothing. So if we beat y'all, it's like I can't. Y'all gonna be like, yo, we. I mean, you go, you will, you I going to, you going, you're going to, you, but you, but you know, you not. You know I you mean, that. for narrative's sake, of course, of course. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like you know, you going to. We swept we y'all seven out of eight. We, we seven out of eight. eight. Exactly. We swept. It'll be seven out of eight. eight. That's gonna be nasty. But not, knowing, knowing that, no hitting the back of his mind, going down while we ain't played nobody in that last game of the season. But you gonna still say seven out of eight. Seven out. I mean, the numbers is the numbers. Like they going number. They gonna do what they do. But the 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 steam in that in the in in the seventh win that might happen, I can't beat my chest and say ah like nah nah. You can't knowing beat that your y'all chest. lost four though. If y'all you lost four, and we was two of them. You can't I'm, beat your chest about nine wins. No, nine nine wins, nine wins is locked in. Nine wins is locked in. <laughs> I was right. I was right. <laughs> you and Keys were wrong. <laughs> I don't know how we got there. Mike T coming let's back. Talk, let's talk about it. Oh, he coming back. He ain't never go, he ain't going nowhere. He's the bane of my existence. Pittsburgh <laughs> travels to Seattle to beat the Seahawks 30 to 23. Mason Rudolph, 18 completions, 274 yards. Geno Smith, 23 completions, 290 yards at a touchdown. Um, this this game was controlled by the offensive line of the Pittsburgh Steelers. They ran all over them boys all day. They couldn't stop it. Devin Bush, where were you at? Yeah, you know what? Devin Bush had 17 tackles, but they weren't them a good tackles 17 count, tackles. Man. They weren't a good 17 tackles. Them bitches was them bitches was way, way in the third level. Yeah, they <laughs> they called they I I I've read something. I've read something, read something they saying they was uh go, he's finding babies. They were JOP, they were man. JOP tackles, jump on the pile tackles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not jump on the pile. Not signing babies, yo. <laughs> he's signing he's babies. Signing. That man Free Mason. I've been telling yeah, you for two years, man. Ma- Mason. Free Mason. Free Mason. Babies, yo. <laughs> Mason Free Mason. Mason. Yo, this is yo, the, the worst case scenario for you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all probably yo, won't make the playoffs. No. This nigga I just kissing and signing babies. <laughs> He he he. Mason from signing Ooh, was it Kenny refusing to back him up. Like it, it's a lot going. I don't. On. I didn't believe that. I, I didn't believe that. Um, Bob C. Bob C. Inactive then. He refused to now, back him up. That now no. Nah, <laughs> I, he was, he I was don't healthy. think he refused. He was, he was to back him up. No 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 no. That, I don't think no. Nah. I don't think yeah. he refused <laughs> to back him up. It was Mike Tomlin saying, "Nah, we good." Yeah. So, but why he backing him up this week? What's the difference? Can he say he's gonna They've be been mishandled. They've been mishandling Kenny since they drafted him. Yeah, this like is no different. Man. But yeah, no, all all confidence in Kenny is gone. 
And I mean, well, yeah, you get bent to nobody's own really, fault but his. It's, it's, it's his own fault. You, you gotta give Mason credit, bro. I mean, Man, not, yo, Mason, you're not, not saying you're not, but nah. you gotta give him credit at this point. How he looks these last two games from that shit that he showed the previous five years. He got good feet. He's standing in the pocket. He knows the hit is coming. He's looking at the barrel of the gun, and he's delivered good passes on on target passes that lead the yak. We haven't seen that all year. I Giving mean, Pickens all the targets, which he should be Pickens, doing. I told y'all Pickens <laughs> was the number one. Offense should go through him, get Deontay his, which that's how it happened. But at the end of the day, this game was won because the offensive line said, fuck it, we're going to run on these boys all day. Najee ran hard. Jalen ran hard. And it was needed because it was a game where the pressure, we got the PFF pressures, but we only got one sack. Gino was in his bag with his pocket presence. He was really good in the pocket that game, and he made a lot of throws, made a lot of people miss rushing them. But the key, we got that one turnover from Nick Tur- uh, Nick Herbig because it was – I was shocked that it was back and forth. It was one of them games. Yo, how many games we've been in where the opposite team scored 14 points and you looking at the Steelers was like, all right, what you going to do? We went back and forth. It's a real indictment on Kenny, man. Like, there's no other way you can slice this. And it's Mitch. a – Huge indictment. Well, fuck, Mitch. Yeah, I might it's be in the playoffs because it's, it's, it's the same exact offense. It's, it's same the same exact- offense. It's the same offense. Same guy. Same people calling it. You read his own one. You just get an execution, and it's not even great execution. It's good execution. That's all we really needed. You look at the defense. Um, their turnover differential. If you got a good quarterback, top a decent two. quarterback. Yeah, top two in the NFL. Yeah, top two, and it's been sustained all year. I mean, well, it's been all year. Y'all one, y'all one quarterback away from being a you know a decent so, team, a good team, a good playoff team. Um, Mason, not that. No, we ain't going no, there. But, no, 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 no. But you can see the improvement of play from him and the Kenny that you know y'all win, y'all winning games looking like, like a real NFL. Y'all didn't look like a real NFL team. Y'all did. So you need it. <laughs> That's all you needed was just decent quarterback play. But Nick, to your point, this is all for not. You you turned up to save the streak. You turned up to save the streak. Mike Tomlin loves that streak. But, all right, let's say we get in. Let's say we get all the help that we need. Yo, it's going to be a one and done. This is not a Super Bowl tip. Like, we had the chance to improve draft capital. And you said, you know, nah, we're going to play our hardest. And which is crazy because if y'all do miss the playoffs, then y'all getting the, you know, y'all going to get the worst, the possible pick because y'all yeah. be the last team that missed the playoffs. Here's the thing. <laughs> Even if we make the playoffs, there's going to be a difference between a pick. Yeah, because we're gonna be one and done. It's really not gonna mean anything making it. It's only gonna be a 17, 18, 18 and 19. We're stuck in that purgatory of picks. It I mean, but they but as the a fan, they, it's frustrating. It's it's frustrating. Yeah, they because said when y'all odds go up to 72 percent, if y'all beat the Ravens Saturday, odds go up to 72 percent. Because I mean, because you look back, it ain't been pretty, but you look you lose the Arizona. Cool. All you had to do was bounce back against. New England. And if you was not living in your fears this whole time, like you've been preaching, this motherfucker running around talking about scared money don't make money. It's a little bit too late for that. Scared money ain't make money if you really wasn't scared. Yo, you bench Mitch. I don't care how much he making. So if the Dolphins win and y'all win, y'all in. And if uh, the Titans beat the Jags and y'all win, y'all in. And yeah. then also if y'all lose and some shit shakes shit. Yeah, way. some other shit happens. Like uh yeah. ten uh um Denver got a win. Texans, Texans can't tie, Texans yeah. and Colts can't tie. You get into the, the extreme help at that point. But, but if the Bills win, it's hard, right? And you know, the Jags need to win their damn selves. I'm sure they'll they'll push Trevor right. out there. Right. Y'all seen that scenario where the Bills don't get it? Mm-hmm. If they lose, right? Yeah, they lose, and then yeah. Jacksonville win, Pittsburgh win, and then long as Indianapolis and Houston don't end in a tie. Jack, yeah, Buffalo can easily miss the playoffs. Right. <laughs> they, that's, they, that's they crazy. crazy. And, and either going to be the second seed or no seed. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's wild. They can, no, they, they, can, they can they can be they can be like the, the they can be the six. They can still get in as the six, but they can also miss though. Mm. What, what would have to happen? Like everybody would have to lose. Yeah, yeah everybody. Much, people like, everybody, to lose. everybody would have to lose in order for them to you know Jacksonville would have to lose. Pittsburgh would have to lose. Like, both of them would have to lose. And then Buffalo, if they lose, they could still get in with that situation. But like you said, it's more of a chance of them losing and not getting in if they lose. Like that. I mean, because Jacksonville got Tennessee. They should beat them. I mean, Steelers, yeah, Ravens, that's depending on who plays for us. And then, I mean, the chances of Houston and Indy ending in the tie is yeah, nah, slim, slim to none. none. So, slim to none. 
Yeah. And the, so they're not going to be all the marbles. And if you look at the Dolphins, um, they're battered and bruised. They already got their ass handed to them, uh, to Buffalo by 28 points. Um, now they have no Bradley Chubb. They looking at it like we either going to be the second seed or the sixth seed. Mm-hmm. That's a huge – Yes, yeah, so that's a huge job. So I mean, that's, that's, that's going the, to Arrowhead. Yeah, that's the difference between home and going to yeah, going to Kansas City. Like, and, and, and we didn't talk Patty. about Xavier Howard out too. Like, he he went down in that game. But so. they already they removed him out so Sunday they, night. Yeah, too. so they missed they missing him too. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, I guess week eighteen. These are the that's what the things what you look for. Yeah, that's yeah. what the NFL wanted, but. All of this scenario shit is good for content if you got a show and you want to break down. But as a fan, I'm just pissed off because it's the what the fifth fucking year. It's the same exact scenario playing for your playoff life at the end of the fucking year. Yo, with, what I'm used to is clear y'all shit. Know, y'all, y'all, y'all didn't need the record to prove nothing. Y'all know y'all had a solid roster. Y'all just needed a quarterback. And even if you didn't draft quarterback first round, if you had a top 14 13 pick and you was able to get top 13 14 talent wherever whatever position you decided to go with you insert in that and then you get in that draft position every round so you getting um top half of the draft talent in each round it's like i get i mean you 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 you, you continue in the culture i'm not even gonna say establishing the culture you continue in the culture of, of what mike tomlin represents but at the same token like what's the trade-off What's the risk reward? Like y'all that. stuck in this in, in neutral when y'all could be up here. You stuck here and you, you need a guy to be up here. Yeah. Like Mason. Cause what we have, <sighs> yeah, because 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 what we have, <laughs> if they decided to say, All right, we gonna do we have enough that you're not gonna be bad long. If Mason can do this, bad the weapons we like, have, y'all not even y'all wasn't yeah, bad. Not y'all bad. Was like, we're not terrible, we're just misguided. We've been misguided. It's it's just been the lack of leadership on the offensive side of the ball is was glaring this year. That was what happened when he reached a top uh, a first yeah. round pick on niggas a, laughed at that. Niggas laughed at Mitch Trubisky though. They said, uh, "What type yeah. of leader is he?" He was like, "Yeah, yeah I guess." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you look at Mason. I should have told us something. Mason, told and everybody's him. talking. George is happy. Deontay happy. Broderick Jones talking shit. And it's they like, going downfield oh, again. Hey, hey, keys. Yo, <laughs> free Mason. Free Mason. <laughs> Full thousand free that, Mason. That, they need. That's what they. That's what the team needed. The team needed free. Let's go. I told, I've been telling you this. A, for a real years. quarterback in the building now. <laughs> that's a leader right there. And that's the worst part. That this shit didn't happen. So <laughs> this shit didn't happen. <laughs> the keys been saying that shit for so long. He's finally right. <laughs> Give him a chance. He's finally Give right. The, Give Mason the chance. Yo, about to be the starter next year. Let's go. Oh, he's definitely the starter next year. That's I crazy. told you I was gonna have two year deal. So what's so one is, one. Kenny, is Kenny? Are they going to compete in training camp? Is that going to be the? All right, I, I see it. I see what it's going. Right, no, We're going to push no. Kenny. We're going to yeah, push yeah, him. yeah, yeah. But yeah, but know, now Mason going to get more reps. Mason wasn't getting no reps last summer. Mason like, going was giving, in the camp. Yeah, they year? was giving all the games. Well, Kenny all, all the ones, year? Mitch all the twos, and yeah. they Mason was getting scraps. Now Mason gonna Mason get the, going in the camp next year. Yeah, knowing I'm getting I'm getting first team reps. So it's, it's, it's going to be a little different when you, when you, when you, when you, you. it's different when you're throwing and camp throwing the uh, pickings and pickings right. and Johnson and throwing whoever you're throwing to as that's the third string the practice ball players. It's different. And if the if if the bridge is already here, let's just use the cat. <laughs> 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 I'm glad that went away quick. If Mason put it, is he put it wrong, that's why. <laughs> yeah, Mason free. I don't know who Mason. Is. Mason free. <laughs> Mason free. Yeah, if you already got the bridge here, don't waste no money on Jacoby Brissett. Just keep the shit here, and and <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like he ain't, ain't got to waste the money on. He already here. We just got the white version of Jacoby Brissett. But uh, oh my god, salute god. to Mason, yo. <laughs> Jacoby Rudolph is disgusting. <laughs> Jacoby Rudolph, that's wild. But uh, salute to them boys, man. I'm happy for Mason. I'm happy for Mason. All right, Lions lose to the Cowboys, twenty to nineteen. Yeah, controversial. This, this, I mean, only controversial was Dan Campbell, dumbass. Like, why, why are you not <laughs> taking a point? Why are you not? I, I get it going forward at first, but once that got called back, kick the, kick the field goal and let's go to overtime here. Like, don't do your play. I mean, I understand you about to be over aggressive, but don't just dis- deserve your players. Your players work hard. Y'all didn't get it or whatever. The rest worked against y'all. Whatever happened in that situation, 
Um, but take the extra point, dang Campbell. Don't do too much. And I fear what I fear about the Lions is it's gonna come down to one of these calling the playoffs, he's gonna blow the game because he he too aggressive. That's just leading to. Um, it's you don't have to be aggressive at all times. Sometimes you can dial it back a little bit, you know, and, and maybe help your team out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't in controversy bad calls happen all the time. We've been on the bad and the bad calls. Everybody been a bad, bad. I just don't. My thing coming from this is I don't need. I don't want to see this crew in the playoffs. That's all. I, that's all I'm good about. But whatever. I mean, like they had a they had a chance early, a chance to win the games. A guard, Jared Goff showed me throwing interceptions. You know, on the drop for that. Um, if I'm not going to sit here and blame the refs and say they they lost the game because it is, just don't. We just don't need to see them refs in the playoffs. That's all. You want to see him Saturday for out. Yeah. 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 But you see, put, you, you see they put in the game that don't really matter. That game that really don't. I mean, it yeah. matters to the Steelers, but you know, yeah. it don't really matter other than that. So they gave him the least the game. That's hey, crazy. I, yeah. If y'all get in because of a penalty or some shit, we know we know why. Salute, 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 salute. I was on board with. I thought they should have kicked too, but then I saw like the probability, and it was really only like a six percent difference of the probability of kicking, aside from going for it. So. On the road, and I ain't have a problem with it. To me, it go back to the turnovers by golf. Like you, you can't throw the turnover late in the fourth quarter that gets them those points. Still, Mike McCarthy still almost gave them a chance to win that game, throwing the ball not properly, uh, allowing the Detroit Lions to use those timeouts. He left them with one timeout and plenty of time on the clock. Um, they had every chance. Uh, the one thing, like I, I don't mind the aggression because they've been aggressive all year. Like they've been aggressive since week one. That's their mo. When they was driving down the field, even Troy Aikman said they're gonna go for two. So it was inevitable. That's who they are. Um, I, I don't have no problem with it. They were they were going for the two seed, and now they they're gonna have to go to Dallas if anything. But they know they can go there and win if they have to. I was gonna say um, to your point, Keith. The reason I think that uh, they should have eventually kicked the extra point is because they shouldn't even had the ball, right? So if yeah. Dallas properly managed the clock and managed um, that situation, they wouldn't have had an opportunity to drive up the field and score a touchdown. So being that you were gifted uh, that from God, you know, you have to receive the blessing. You can't you can't deny it or ignore it. Um, and once the two point conversion was taken from you, because that was some bullshit. That was right. a late call and everything. Yeah, like, it was terrible. They were celebrating everything. And then you see a flag. It's like and then you see the replay of, of the uh, the lineman reporting eligible. Once that happens to you, God is definitely sending you a sign like, yo, chill, kick that extra point. I told you. He went for it, he went for it he, from the seven. <laughs> bro, he, he kept being stubborn. Like, yo, I know you're upset. I get it. But at this point, you're defeated. They cheated you. Yeah, he just wanted a big F you moment. Try, try in overtime. At that point, just try in overtime. And hopefully, <laughs> if that were to happen in the playoffs again, hopefully he wouldn't be that stubborn again. And, and you know what? You know that you know the one thing that come out of it. You didn't just show three plays now that you're gonna run in January. And that if situation. that same situation comes up, like you didn't you didn't show, but you you didn't put your hand out there now. And that's 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 the only negative to it. I you only got so many have any, plays. Yeah, you don't got so many right, two point right, plays, right. and you didn't show your hand now for three of them because you like Nick said you were stubborn. But I, I wasn't mad at the first one, but I feel you that fourth mm-hmm. and that one from the seven, you got to kick it. <laughs> and then when Michael Parsons go off sides, I guess that's really your silver line and like kick the ball. But they had a chance. Job golf through another bad ball. Yeah. He had him on the out, another bad ball. He had 10 points in fantasy. Congrats, Nick. Salute. Yeah. If I had my ball, I, I, I was smoking you like oh, yeah, yo. Let's make sure we get him it up for Nick, man. The fantasy yeah. champ, uh, man. He uh you know with the money on the line. You don't <laughs> he uh <laughs> you shot the yeah. Yeah. I saw that Jared Goff performance. I said, Yeah, I'm done. Ain't no way I'm beating no nigga with 10 points. <laughs> Hell no. Salute. Jared Goff salute. Crazy, when, we dr- when we drink in Skull Hat. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever, nigga. <laughs> Shots on Skull. We're going to pour the whole Thank bottle. Thank you. Appreciate you, Skull. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bills defeat the Patriots 27 to 21. Bailey Zappi, 16 completions, 209 yards, three completions to the other team. Josh Allen, 15 completions, 169 yards, one interception. Mm. All right, I mean, the, the, the Bills should be happy that they was playing the the Patriots. Um, they yeah. <laughs> they haven't they haven't been playing well. Um, but since the Cowboys game, you know they haven't they didn't play well on the road at the Chargers. They did they haven't played well. Um, but they proved to be the better teams. And at the end of the day, you just got to skate. You don't got to win by 15. You don't got to win by you know 
just got escaped, and that's what they've done. Um, they can't play like this Sunday. Like they they cannot. Um, they had to play better. Um, Josh Allen got to throw the he got to protect the ball better. Um, they need to you know <clears throat> call better plays. It's like they're getting stuck with that. We're going to take the ball out of Josh Allen's hands, but down that's feeding to the defense. Um, the defense wants you to run. The defense want the Bills to want to run. Um, they don't want so you you they got to get creative there. They got to he can't ha, he can't be having five yards at the half. They got to do something about that. And I'm I'm not going. I'm not blaming that on um, or giving too much credit to the Belichick defense. I think they the, that Bills offense need to do more of getting creative with their weapons. Um, but like you said, they 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 escape, and that's all they need to do. And now they as much as as bad as they've played, you know, over the middle of the season for that gauntlet they had, they got a chance for division Sunday, and I guess that's all they ask for. Um, and I'm I'm sure they're gonna be ready. I'm sure Josh Allen I'm gonna be ready Sunday night. But they they gotta play better football. They've been playing over the last two weeks. They just have to. I, I don't take too much out of this game because New England always plays the Bills tough. They beat New, uh, they beat the Bills earlier this year. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a divisional matchup. Bill Belichick is in his bag usually against the Bills, so I ain't really take too much of it other than just get the fuck out of there with a win. That was one of those situations. Just like when we play the Browns or we play the Steelers, sometimes you just gotta get the fuck out of there with a win because um, you're not you might not look your best self. Um, you know, uh, regardless of what going going on with the Patriots, they gonna come out and try to stop what you do best. So in this case, they came out, they wanted to stop James Cook, and they wanted to eliminate uh, the pass game, uh, take a wide receiver out of the game, Stephon Diggs. He's still – I don't know what's going up on with that. The connection with Allen has just been non-existent. Actually, one of my leads, it cost me. Piece of shit. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I don't appreciate Stephon Diggs. Like, yo, yo became James Prochet immediately. Like, wh- how did this happen so quick? Um <laughs> but they got to figure that out. They can't be going into the playoffs with him getting six targets, four catches, 23 yards, whatever. he. You know what I mean? Like those type of stat lines can't happen with Stephon Diggs. You got to get him involved. I don't know what they need to do. The James Cook shit is great. Now, now incorporate that with Stephon Diggs, with Dalton Kincaid, uh, Khalil Shakir. Um, pass the game just been get off, that going. Though, right? They pass, yeah. That pass the game just been off for some reason, like you said. Like I don't, I don't know. What's going? On? But like I said, to, that's that was my point also. Like they, Joe, he got to do something. He, they got to get way more creative than what they doing. Um, than what they what, what's going on right now. I think I I I, I think uh they'll they'll be ready uh, come Sunday. As far as that is concerned, um, they have to be. You know, a team like them, they've been back against the wall for five six weeks now. They got to be ready. You know, and they've learned over those five, six weeks that sometimes you just need to claw and, and, and get out of there with a W. Before that, um, they were finding ways to lose. Mm-hmm. So, big game Sunday night, man. Hell yeah, big, big, big game. Hell yeah, and 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 we didn't talk about Miami too much, but how do they recover? Yeah, I don't think they can. I mean, I don't know if they, they went can. from being they bullies played, to right. getting they getting their ass handed to them. Like uh, we dog walked there. They played a little bit better Sunday, maybe. I you know I would be leaning. Yeah, if that was fifty six to thirty. Yeah, something, 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 something. But right. like you said, forty three second half yards. Though? Man, what what you think? They, the, they, they had on not having most of it, not having Waddle, but it, they got pumped. We yeah. had Mark Andrews. Cause they beat Dallas without Tariq Hill. We was, we was, we was nigga. We lost like eight people. That yeah, game. Like, like nah. Yeah, but they was going against our JV secondary. Like, uh, yeah, you know I mean, like they can make those excuses, but at the same token, to come out like that, that was a game for number one seed in the AFC. You you came out in a game that uh, important, that significant, and and showed that on tape. They got Eli, Eli Apple got to play Sunday. It's a wrap for them. And the, 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 <laughs> he keeps putting on tape. Logic yeah, can't beat a good team, man. Outside of Dallas, Logic don't even call the same kind of game. Dallas like, should have won that game. And Dallas should have won that game. So I'm, I'm looking at on it. Four on the road against playoff yeah, team. I, I'm, I'm looking at it. Minus as, 87 point differential. Like, yeah, mm. it's for first place. But you, you, you looking at a team that. If everything falls your way, you might see them again in the in the in the championship with that in the back of your head. It reminds me of when LeBron when they beat Boston and he knew we got he ain't even look happy, man. We got we gotta go out Gold State again. It might be that effect. We gotta go to Baltimore. Fuck. Nah, I ain't like it. I ain't like it. In the cold, oh nah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all for them. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm look. That's like I said, I'm looking forward to Sunday night, man. I'm, I'm really is the game in Miami? Yeah, yeah, it's in Miami. yeah. 
I'm looking Miami. forward to Sunday night. What's the what's the early line on it? Miami should be favored by what two something like that. They gotta be favorites. They home probably. Yeah, it should. Yeah, probably two and a half. Two and a half, something like that. Yeah, probably, I, I would guess two and a half. Um, all right, moving on. Bears defeat the Falcons, thirty-seven to seventeen. Tyler Heineke, ten completions, one hundred sixty-three yards, a touchdown, three completions to the other side. Justin Fields, twenty completions, two hundred sixty-eight yards, and a touchdown. And he Thank gonna look good against them. He gonna look good against them bad teams now. <laughs> Buffalo favorite too, just to go back to that. Point. Buffalo favorite. They, wow. they they three three point favorite. All them injuries. Speaking mm-hmm. thing, what just happened Sunday? Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't call you no favorite after. I mean, but ju- yeah, Justin Fields making it hard on the Bears though. Um, he's been playing really, really well. Um, you know, he what he's putting on tape is showing them like he's it's giving them something to think about. You do do we keep him or do, or do we or we draft a quarterback and get picks for Justin Fields? Um. Like Justin Fields is as NFL right now, anyway. He's an NFL starting quarterback. Um, I think he's only gonna get better. Um, I, I think <clears throat> that that Bears team got to make it to be a pretty good, a pretty decent team next year. They got some pieces on defense, like I said, they build around Justin Fields, get him receiver. If they keep him, um, they 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 decent, they're a decent team, you know, they they they're a decent team. But like I said, it's the Falcons, and we are not how we feel about the Falcons. Um, they're not a good team, but I, I'm 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 definitely impressed by what Justin Fields put on the tape lately, though. I just be asking like what has changed with the Bears, like because like on social media and like uh, me- uh just media in general, they'll say the Bears don't have this, the Bears don't have this, the Bears don't have this, the Bears don't have that. It looks like they have those things right now, doesn't it? Like the way they've been playing collectively as a team looks like they have those things the last three, four, five weeks. What has mm-hmm. been the difference? Yeah, we Justin, 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 Justin yeah. Fields been playing better, yo. So we can't always just say, oh, he doesn't have weapons. He doesn't have a scheme. Yeah, he does. He got all that. He got all that shit. He got to play better, and he decided he wanted to play better. And albeit they've been bad teams that he's been running against. Um, and when he plays better teams in that stretch, it hasn't gone the same way. But at the same token, you plan who's in front of your schedule, and you are putting – you're making it very, very difficult on the Bears, right? Because the fans are involved – the players in the locker room are involved. It gets it gets tricky. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not my decision to make though. Uh, Ryan Poles, he got he has a big one because I mean whatever decision he makes, uh, he got to live with, and his his career is going to be dependent on. If he rolls with Fields, he feels better be that guy because I saw some yeah. of them guys that were playing that were going to be first round picks. They look all right. They look like they can they can be that guy. As well, so Ryan Poles, if he picks the other way, and Justin Fields goes on and is amazing elsewhere, or you know the person he picks isn't who is supposed to be, he's gonna have to fall on the sword that way. So I don't know. Uh, it's one of those situations where you're in a good position. You like these type of problems, but whatever you pick, you better pick right. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Um, it, I, it, it's crazy every time a team gives a coach a vote of confidence, they go on like a losing streak. It's crazy. Arthur Smith, what are you doing, man? They might he might get fired. <laughs> what are you doing? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, right. He might get fired now because it, it's been two. They lost two two in a row since they said that, right? Yeah. And they ain't been looking. They ain't been looking particularly well either game. And haven't yeah right. Haven't been close games either. But uh, yeah, they out the playoff. Yeah. They out the playoff hunt now. Yeah, they got Atlanta, Atlanta. Atlanta eliminated, right? I want to say eliminated, but they they, they, they ain't looking. They, good. I'm saying they could still get in. Is what I'm saying. They, if if everything was a yeah, fall, they, they mathematically good. out, but right, they but they gonna need a lot of help. Yeah, they're they're writing on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's there. Mm. Colts defeat the Raiders twenty three to twenty. Eight and O'Connell thirty completions, two hundred ninety nine yards, two touchdowns. Gardner Minshew fifteen completions, two hundred twenty four yards, and a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, like the Colts. I'm all. I'll, I've been preaching all year. I've been pre- this winning game. You're supposed to win at home, and now you set yourself up for a plan. Um, and that's gonna be another great game. I can't wait to see it. Um, but that, that that's all I gotta say. Was I mean, I guess Antonio Pierce. They they play hard. They play well. I still think he should get a shot at the job. Um, like I said, they've been competitive in almost every game or won every game since <clears throat> since he's taken over the job. But because like I, I mean, the Colts just did what he had to do. They're the home team. They won the home game to set that self up for this this playing game for them. So. Shout out to them. Yeah, definitely want to give uh, Pierce credit. Um, Aiden O'Connell's looked all right. You know, I'm not saying it's something to write ho- home about, but he's pleasantly surprised me because I would think he, he was going to be much, much, much worse. He's been relatively decent. So um, that, Zamir White, uh, some of their young pieces have shown well. 
and uh, the whole team is playing hard for Pierce. So I, I echo the sentiments Keys had. And as far as the uh, the Colts, just wanted to give a shout out to Gardner Minshew. You know, um, I don't think what he's done has been talked about uh, as it should, right? To keep this team, not even to keep this team in playoff contention. They weren't playoff contenders when Richardson went down. To make this team playoff contenders and to have them in this position where week 18, you can play for a playoff spot you know, you know, coming in as a backup, coming in, uh, you know, the top, one of your top picks are injured. You know, that could suck the life out of the team. You, and especially when you saw that he's he's an exotic car, right? You crash the exotic car two weeks into buying. It's like, damn, I didn't even get to, you know, I didn't even get to have fun with this motherfucker yet. Um, but you know, insurance came in. You you got to get the the rental, and the rental was pretty nice too. I like that shit too. <laughs> so it's working out for the Colts. Mm-hmm. Facts. Rams defeat the Giants on the road. 26 25. Matt Stafford, 24 completions, 317 yards, touchdown, two interceptions. Tyrod Taylor, 27 completions, 319 yards, touchdown in the pit. Yeah, I, I hope Tyrod get a, get a chance at a job, I guess, one, one day. But I, I mean, I, I just, I look, I, what I take from this game is the Rams, you know, a, a good team, a, a playoff team, finding ways to win games. I mean, they, they went on the road across country, tough place to play. And they, they they swooped out a win. Now they, you know they they can rest players next week. They the same thing with the uh, coach. Win the games you're supposed to win against bad teams, and you set yourself up to be in position to rest players or to play to get um games in week 18 to play in. So shout out to the Rams. And like I said, we've been saying for a couple weeks now that they scary man. That's a team that I can easily see in the NFC Championship game if they if they get the right matchups. Yeah, uh, shout out to uh, the Rams for sure. I mean. Kyron Gurley is crazy. <laughs> that boy. <is> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where yeah. he came from. I mean, yeah. obviously, like we we've known about him all season, but like as far as like just his emergence onto the NFL scene, um, wasn't a high heralded draft pick. Um, wasn't a huge name coming out of college. I know at Notre Dame he was that guy, but you know, for them to be able to to bring him in, get him ready. Uh, bring him along slowly and then unleash him this season. Uh, and then Puka Nakua looks like he's about to break a rookie record. Um, and he's been amazing every single game. He's their number one receiver, and that's saying a lot. Uh, Matt Stafford, you know, we talked about it all season. He's rejuvenated. You know, he had those injuries last season. He wanted to come back and show people, like, yo, relax. <laughs> um, they re- retooled on defense with youth. So this is a team that could be sustainable going forward, right? Like uh, all those bad contracts, they're out of here now. All their core players are young and cheap. So, you know, this is this could be the the, the, the stepping stone for more in the future. Um, so we'll see how this takes this takes them. Uh, but as far as what he said in the NFC, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of bullshit over there. It? It's a whole lot of bullshit over there. You got the 49ers, you got everybody else. And I like the Rams as the top of the the everybody else, yeah. Anybody the 49ers anybody. Crowd, they nice, but they crowd too much too. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how much that crowd. And the 49ers ain't, you know, they ain't they ain't unflappable. Yeah. They can get got. That's, that's gonna yeah. be a fun game. Yeah. Rams gotta go to Detroit. That's gonna be a fun game. They gotta go there week one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, I wonder how do these playoff matchups? That's what I'd be curious about. Like, what the brackets look like. That's what. I, I, I'm gonna I'm look that up because I know the the seedings are still to be TBD, but I want to know who are it was supposed to play who. Hypothetically, I mean, it's two anyway. seven right now. Is what uh, Dallas first? Who the seven seed? It'd be it'd be Green Bay if they if Green Bay yeah, beat Dallas the Rams, Green Bay, which that yeah Dallas Green Bay to be Detroit um, Rams Detroit Rams and Philly Philly would have to go to Tampa Bay. <clears throat> Damn, speaking of Philly. They lose to the Cardinals. Thank you, Philly. Thank you, Philly. Makes my Cardinals loss look a lot better. 35 to 31. <laughs> See, Philly lost too. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Kyle, Kyle Murray, 25 completions, 332 yards. I'm 232 yards. I'm sorry. Three touchdowns and an interception. Jalen Hurts, 18 completions, 167 yards. Three touchdowns and an interception. Yeah. Yeah. Cardinals took that will. They, they, they really took their soul and said, give me this. Um, I, don't, I don't think they're giving it back. I don't think the Eagles are going to get it back this year. <laughs> I think they will. I mean, they, they granted they missing Darius Slay, which is a big part of that part of that secondary. He's, he hasn't played what last two or three. Ain't look good with him either. 
Right. I was about but they, you know, <laughs> but they, look, they look even they look crazy now. Like they can't stop anything now. Um, so it's like you know they. I don't know if I don't know what they're gonna do. But they, they can't win. They can't win a, a playoff game with the offense the way the, the way the offense is playing right now. The way it's set up right now is is a bad off. It's horrible the way the offense run. Like if you if like I said if if we got Christian McCaffrey on TV, people on TV calling out that you're running quarterback draws, quarterback sneaks, then you something need to be fixed. Um, that can't always be the answer. That can't always be this. Put Jalen Hurts back there. Fuck it, Jalen Hurts let him run the ball. Um, you know, Demar, uh, Demar said he got an ankle injury now. Um, so yeah, I, I yeah, I don't know how. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they. I mean, the Bucks are the Bucks. You know, they you know they 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 playing, but they got good defense. But I don't. The Philly's not winning nothing with the way the off the way this offense looking. Is they not winning anything? Not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, I'm about to say, and I talked about it Friday. I mean, Gannon was coming back to familiar territory. Uh, he knows that defense. They already been railing, and uh, they expose him. Uh, the Eagles right now, I mean, we thought maybe that stretch of games they went through was going to test them, get them right. But right now, they look like a team that's tired. They look like a team that's just – they crawling, trying to get back to the promised land. And we all know, I mean, it's, it's hard to get back to back-to-back Super Bowls. Like, it's not the NBA. So, um I just don't see. I don't think they got no life left, and I'm starting to question what type of coach Sirianni really is, because without Gannon, without um, Stipen, uh those those upper echelon uh, coordinators from last year, uh, they haven't looked that way. They haven't looked good, and Stipens looked good in Indianapolis, and since Gannon got Kyler Murray back in Arizona, they've looked a lot more formidable. So, the all man out is Sirianni. Too. Yeah, exactly. So the all man out is Sirianni, and I don't. I'm they starting to fire Sirianni. Those are. They said they lose the first one of the playoffs. They're going to fire Sirianni. Philly, great. Philly won the first I mean, they yeah, did it to Doug Peterson. Yeah, they don't care. They do not care. The funny <laughs> thing yeah, is <laughs> to see Gannon to do that against his old uh, team and former head coach, like, you know, to lose to your protege, you never really want to see that, especially like the first matchup. That's crazy. I'm about to say, yeah, his first. first <laughs> now we got you a got pow, pow. Like the yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got Pow Pow. <laughs> you supposed to load bro them. <laughs> yeah. But uh, shout out to Gannon as well for confirming that uh, Kyler Murray is his franchise quarterback. Remember, there was a lot of mm-hmm. talk as far as what they're going to do there Should and be. if Kyler's their future. I think right. Kyler's he's, – he's, he's, he's quieted a lot of people. He's um, that. He's that, man. Let them QBs drop. Let them QBs drop. I like it. I like <laughs> it. I like it. Got healthy. Get him some weapons, hey, man. Now. Get, 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 get him some line. Get him a line. Could Penix drop to y'all, or he's like a top, top, top yeah. the guy. Nah, the I don't like calling him Penix either. Pen- can we? Can we? Can we? Nah, we going MP. 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 He's not a first round. He's not a first like round draft. Yeah, he's not even a fourth first round pick. Not draft first. Cool. Round pick. Oh, then we definitely gonna get him. Then that's our shit. He's not. No. Nah, then that's he our shit. He don't got first round grade right now. He below Bo Nix and all them. Like, hey, guess what? Which is crazy. We'll give him one. It's crazy. We'll give him one. <laughs> oh, if y'all we get Kenny one, we better give him one. <laughs> if that happens, then he should be our uh, hurts. Like it's injury is, on him. This is injury. Has hurts. He, you know, he, yeah. tore, he tore hurt. his knees up before. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He, he been, he's twenty four years old too. Yeah, he's twenty four years. Still younger than Kenny. We drafted Kenny at twenty five. Yeah, younger than CJ Stroud and all of them. Nah, yes. CJ twenty two. <laughs> he must be smart too. He got through school quick. <laughs> it, listen, Penis had the purple do rad talking about free the guys. I'm like, listen, dog. I like that. He want us. He want us. Free Hooli. Free Hooli. He want us. I like it. I like it. Got some goons out here. <laughs> that's where he from. Yeah, Tampa. Yeah, that's where he shot it up. Yeah, well, Tampa. shit, we got we got to get one of them South Florida boys. Yeah, like, that's the key division. to winning, right? <laughs> yeah. like, that's the key to winning. Get, getting a getting a, a young black man from Miami. Um. Saints defeat. You know what, Cookie? I believed in you. Saints defeat the Bucks, twenty-three to thirteen. Derek Carr, twenty-four completions, one hundred ninety-seven yards, two touchdowns. Cookie Mayfield, twenty-two completions, three hundred nine yards, two touchdowns, two picks. He just—it's one like you said. We like just like y'all was talking about with the uh, with the Pats, um, Bills. They just don't play the Bucks well. I mean, the Saints don't. The Bucks yeah. just don't play the Saints well. Like it, that is the is one of those teams where they just when Lattimore on them play. Mike Evans and them niggas beat the shit out of them. Like that's it. Yeah, that's like, that's, 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 that's Tom Brady, yo. Even with Tom. Same yeah, so they just beat them. Yeah, that's a fact. They, they just beat them. Um, but shout out. I mean, but the Bucks in the playoffs now, right? They still hold the the, the prime position, even though they lost. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, they just so, got one. They got to beat Carolina. Won. So yeah, no, I mean, it, I'm not yeah, gonna say they, easy, they should but... be. They, yeah, they should be able to take care of business. But I mean, that call, I guess. I mean, I don't know what you say. He's, I think he still suck. 
is this a division game? They play what they play well in the division, and that, that's that. I mean, I mean, yeah. ta- hopefully, Tampa don't want to look that bad, of course. But like you said, they got they can beat Carolina to be in like they, and to get a home playoff game. I think they'll be okay. That's a fact. So, um, who do Saints play this week? I guess it really don't matter. They, they play Atlanta. Atlanta. They play the other team. Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, it don't matter. Okay. So yeah, Bucks just gotta do handle. Business. I mean, if Saints win and Bucks lose, they end. But I don't know how you lose to Carolina. I mean, but even but the Saints can be it because the the first the Packers the Bears not going to put they not just going to lay down for the Packers. That's not going to happen. Mm-mm. And then see whoever in Seattle got to play uh, the Cardinals. So they I mean depending on that if the, if the, if Green Bay and Seattle lose, New Orleans can still sneak in. I guess as the wild card. They'd be nine eight. Both of them be eight nine. That division getting two teams is crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit? <laughs> That'd, be <crazy. laughs> That'd be some shit. After all of that trash, uh, 49ers defeat the Commandos 27 to 10. Brock Purdy, 22 completions, 230 yards, two touchdowns. Sam Howe, 17 completions, 169 yards, touchdown, two picks. Yeah, they did what they had to do, but they, they didn't look very sharp. I mean, they you could tell they were, they was coming off the Ravens loss and then they had to travel across country. And then they lose C Mac in a game. Um, they like I said, you do what you gotta do, you win the games you gotta win, and they got it there, you know, with a, a double a double digit win. Um, I the, that same thing with the Ravens for them. I think for week they just need to get healthy. Um, they they gotta get they gotta get their boys healthy. You, I, I, the, the NFC guy come through San Francisco. There's nothing for them to play for next week. Um, so they, they get healthy, they'll be okay. Um, but they, they haven't been looking sharp at all though. Yeah, so with the number one seed, uh, got two weeks, that two-week decision, same decision as the Ravens. Um, me personally, again, I would I would throw Brock out there for a half, you know. Debo, get your ass out there. Obviously, we're going to be smart with it. Um, Christian McCaffrey, you're going to sit down next to me. Uh, he, they, he said he was ready to go back into the game. I think they did the right thing in saying, now you're going to sit your little – Sit your little ass down, <laughs> and we'll, we'll see you in the playoffs. They did; they were smart there. You know they can plug and play running backs in that um, in that system. Uh, so it's not to be as spectacular as um, Christian McCaffrey, but for one week, Eli Mitchell and Joel Mason can get it done. Uh, and yeah, I would just like to see some continuity with uh, Rock and 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 continuing that get back because that four interceptions. That type of shit against the a, a Ravens team, a team that you thought would be like a Super Bowl preview, to have that lasting image of four interceptions in your mind, you have to do some shit to shake it off. And last week was against the Commanders was a good start. They need to continue that because he can't go into the, the playoffs with that on his brain. Because you know, I don't know, man. Like he ain't that good to not have demons affect him. He, we got to rid him of the demons. <laughs> he looked all right. He looked, you know, yeah. he, he bounced back against the commanders, but it's the commanders. And they, and they have a, a game against the Rams. It would be nice to see, you know, him not saying uh, he needs this to have, to be successful going forward. I just was just saying it would be nice to see them have a nice clean first half and get the boys out of there. We ain't gonna talk about this next one too much. Jaguars over the Panthers, twenty six nothing. Yeah, this game was a dud. It, yeah. it, it, that's all it was. It was. The, yeah. It was the Jaguars. Like I said, the key for them is is Trevor Lawrence going to play this week, or is Trevor Lawrence not going to play this week? I think if Trevor Lawrence don't play, I think the Titans the Titans going to beat them. You think so? You think Will Levis gonna, or Tannehill going to do that? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe in CJ Beathard at all. And and the way and the way Ray was talking, he 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 putting out there like he he, he putting a bunch of all pros out there Sunday. Yeah, he like, he <laughs> Ray said we ain't laying down. We it, it, listen, it this is the last game of the season. We, we plan to win. So yeah, I, I just don't know if CJ Beth is gonna get the job done on the road. Um, with the way Mike Ray was talking. So I don't know. But I don't know if Mike Ray got enough dogs in the house to to stop That's anybody. True too. You know what I mean? Um, he needs to worry about his own situation because. <laughs> They they over there fucked up right now. Not the way he what's going them. on. Yeah. yeah, not the way he yeah. said them this week. But but to your point, CJ Beathard, I mean, that's that is not the ideal situation for trying to clinch a playoff spot. That's not who you want. That's not who you want there. <laughs> Hopefully Trevor wants <laughs> like this week. Tra- shoot Trevor Listen, up with some tour. Dog. I about to say, yeah, <laughs> whatever whatever his ass Trevor out needs. Listen, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm a Steelers fan, I'm t- I'm I'm sitting my mom that the to travel on top you're not playing this week my mother. like yeah. we see, see, see good night sunshine <laughs> <laughs> you are playing today, but, but. 
Yeah, speaking of the Texans and Titans, Texans defeat the Titans 26 to 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, about the cap, cap before we uh go into this, yeah, uh, Tepper, the owner, throwing a, a drink ah. on a player. I mean, on a player, on a fan, on a fan, you're gonna get that clown. Away. Like, he's a clown, like, he, he's been a clown, he's been a clown for a long time. Oh, we've been for like, he, like, yo, can you imagine if a player did that? And then, and then you know, and then you know, he he a clown because he did it and walked away, like, he, he did it real fast. Yeah, he didn't get yo, he just walked away. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, yeah. felt something like, yo, what the fuck? he gone. They got him for three hundred thirty dollars. They got him for thirty dollars. You know, how you gonna have that much money and be that and that that thin of skin? Like I don't I don't understand. Like, that makes go, no yeah. sense, dog. Yeah, like that makes go, no yeah. sense. Yeah. It's, it's literally nothing white in that state of city. Me, they make me upset. Like it, it's it just <laughs> not as a billionaire. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no, <laughs> not that kind say. of billionaire either. <laughs> like he he a real billionaire. Like <laughs> yeah, I can touch my billionaire. <laughs> I can touch it. Like, I would have took the fan know. out of this. I would have took the fan out of the uh, stands and said, "Come on, come to my suite with me. Let me show you something." They would have been saying, "Show you, yo, show you how we really them, living around here." I kicked him out of the stadium. He <laughs> called them the ER. He out my stadium. You, yeah, you can literally do anything instead of going to He called them the ER. Get this nigga out of here, man. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> talking to you in my box, talking to me crazy. Yo, did the worst possible thing he could do. Assault the assault the person. Wait, he, he could do anything else. He decided to assault. I, been I, I do know. I do know. Right. If I was the fan, I, I would have blind. Know. I'd be blind in one. I'd be charged to write out that motherfucker. What? I would have <laughs> felt, like felt so far they didn't find me laying on the field. Come up there. I'd have been laying on the field. <laughs> I would have <laughs> fell in a few rows. I would have. Exactly. Hell you yeah. Know. You ain't lying. Yeah. You we'd make, that'd we'd be have, my have, fucking team. We'd have free Panther tickets. <laughs> we going to the Super Bowl. All of us. I tell you, Super Bowl one, on them. One, one billionaire walked in this room. Two billionaires walked out this motherfucker. I tell you that right now. I tell you that right now. Um, Chargers, Broncos. Broncos defeat the Chargers 16 to 9. Easton yeah. Stick, 24 completions, 220 yards. Jay Stiddy, 20 completions, 224 yards and a touchdown. No, nah, he don't get no nickname yet, man. Jay like, Steady. This is this is this was another. Uh, I mean, shout <laughs> out, shout out to Denver though. I guess because they, even though with the win, they still got eliminated. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we need to cover this. This is a terrible. Like, nah, so this, this is garbage too. Yeah, it was bad. It was Sean, bad. Listen, Sean Payton. I think it shows that he was right. You know, they the Broncos said they made that move from Russell Wilson to uh, Jerry <laughs> Steady for winning purposes. So <laughs> they got the win. Hey Steady. man. Listen. You know, I'm not even mad at them making the money move because I get them niggas it. Been, they lying about it though. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I'm not paying Russell Wilson seventy million dollars for the performance. No, that he gave you me. Ain't no, no. But you got to go about it a different way. Like yeah. they doubled down. They doubled down. And I just think personal feelings aside, I don't even know that nigga, right? But no, no Super Bowl quarterback should be treated in that manner. Like they treated him like he was fucking Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Matter of fact, I hope we treated Kenny Pickett like that. Like he deserves. Like the fuck, it's Russell Wilson. It's crazy. It's it's funny to hear how you out on how you out on Kenny now, so because you wasn't like that at the beginning of the year. Now you really hate that nigga now. <laughs> no. Not not when Mason. It's, comes it's in only and does that. it's you only can't. it's you only can't. so much black and gold pride I can have for a nigga. <laughs> Like, like I Mason treat struggle him the same way as Mason. I can't if, treat him no different from Mason. If Mason were to struggle, you could say scheme, O line, point to some of the stuff, right? But Mason coming in and winning games, it's like, all right, so dick. Kenny, why weren't you? Yeah. You know what I mean? And not saying that Kenny wasn't winning games because he he did left leave y'all. No, he worked seven. Yeah, seven yeah, yeah. Four. It's just the way. Like we was winning thirteen to ten. Yeah. Yeah, defense had, defense had to score. Y'all had a good, good had to score touchdowns. Yeah, like good, good turnover. Kenny not, <laughs> Kenny not winning no game where the defense can't get a stop. Like the, like they couldn't That's get a crazy. stop. Yeah. And I'm looking at the other offense. Just yo, what? Like we play keep away from them niggas. <laughs> like yeah, no, y'all not getting the ball back. Yeah, I gotta be out on Kenny. So Pittsburgh treat Kenny like Denver treated Russell. Let's do this shit. <laughs> Chiefs. Defeat the Bengals 25-17. Jake Browning, 19 completions, 197 yards, and a touchdown. Pat Mahomes, 21 completions, 245 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah, they, they, his, I mean, they, the Chiefs, like I said, they got Pat Mahomes. We've been talking about this. Uh, they're going to be fine because they have Pat Mahomes. They they, have, they just, their weapons just start, start catching the ball. Um, and I, I think, you know, it's, it's, on, it's on Andy Reid to do something to get Travis Kelsey open. 
Um, he got to he, he got to do something because they 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 doubling and tripling him, and they they make they completely taking Kelsey out of the game. If you're taking Kelsey out of the game with and your the rest of your options is is MVS and Sky Moore, um, you're not going to be very successful. You're not. It's, it's, it's so much Pacheco can do um, in a run game. It's not. You know, it's playoffs. You're not going. You shouldn't be able to run that ball like that in the playoffs. So, I, they they got to find a way to scheme Kelsey open. Um, I don't know what what they can do, um, but MVS and Sky Moore take out Rice because you know he he's 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 going to be a, a great player. He's going to be a decent player. They need he needs something else there. They they can't like I think the same thing with the Eagles. They're not going to be able to win with the way their offense is playing right now. It's just not going not going to happen. They did what they need to do, though. The AFC West champion, they get a home playoff game, so it's up from there. You feel me? You got to come there and beat them in that first round, and it's going to be hard to do. I, I will say uh, the one team in the AFC that uh, worries me as a Ravens fan, surprisingly, is probably the Chiefs just because they got Patrick Mahomes and they have that uh, organizational experience of – uh, winning games in these scenarios, regardless of what happened in the regular season. A lot of times you just got to make it to the dance. Once you make it to the dance, it's about execution. It's about uh, which team doesn't beat themselves. Now, mind you, in the regular season, we've seen uh, we've seen the Chiefs not be able to score consistently, have tough time driving the ball, which is uncharacteristic of them. But I harken back to 2012 with the Ravens. That Our regular season was ass. We barely made the playoffs, and uh, we weren't a consistent team in the playoffs. But what happened? Joe Fracco caught fire. Um, Ray Lewis announced his retirement, and, you know, everybody was turned up. Now, obviously, ain't nobody announced retirement on the Chiefs. You know, Andy, it's not Andy's last dance, so he don't got that going for him. But at the same token, I say that to say all it takes is just that flip of the switch in the postseason. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they have that DNA to be able to do that. It it will remain to be seen um, if that's enough uh, because their weapons are ass. Like, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. They, They are terrible. And Travis Kelsey, once you start talking about retirement, that means to me that you know that, like, it's in the back of your head that I'm not the same. Um, I might have lost a step, and you, I mean, we see it. Um, couldn't even get 25 yards Sunday, he definitely looked by my ass. Let me get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, you yeah, want man. for that one for that one because he's been talking about that shit all year. But that's one team that, as a Ravens fan, I would taste it not billionaire, team. man. It didn't change his whole perspective. He ain't thinking about that's football anymore. Yeah. It's Taylor Swift, trying like, to get to them Belgians. <laughs> and and she's, and she's been bad for Dennis. Like when he was with a black woman, they was flourishing and winning Super eating. Bowls, had, had home field eating. advantage. You eating. know what I mean? And I'm sure he was eating too, but now you got this little pale. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's I was like, catching parlays like pale L. He does look like some pale ale, ale, yo. It's tall and skinny, man. Y'all call the bugs. Y'all say she that bugs turkey. (laughs) With no barbecue. barbecue barbecue Bread and turkey, yo. That's bread and dry ass bird. That's what she a dry ass bird. <laughs> Packers defeat the Vikings. Let's get this back on track. 33 to 10. <laughs> Jordan Love, 24 completions, 256 yards, three touchdowns. Nick Mullins, 13 completions, 113 yards, and a touchdown. My so you really wild for not putting no soft on that, though. Say that again. I said, you wild for not putting no soft on that turkey, yo. You look like you were struggling eating that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to with beer. And I was yeah. allegedly inebriated, so I had cotton <laughs> What? <laughs> a cotton mouth and a dry ass sandwich, nigga. What? That should be, that should be fucking. Shit was like a Popeye's biscuit. Oh. <laughs> ah. That's crazy. You, you know, said, "What about Joe and Love?" Yeah, I, I, said, I said, "My Joe Love agenda is back. I, I, okay. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for Joe Love to, 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 to beat the bad <laughs> Sunday and, and clinch this playoff berth." Hey man, get, get the party started. No, I mean, but like I said, he used right. He has when we talked about him. He started playing like ass, but over the last whatever I was looking at the stat since week eleven, he got sixteen targets, one pick. He's playing well. He's playing good football. Um, they they hit a tough stretch, like you said. Like I've been saying, they did what he had to do. Now they got they can play the Bears on Sunday, beat the Bears, and they make the playoffs. And at this point, and at this point in his career, that's the most important thing is getting to the playoffs. 
get the same what you can do in the playoffs. That's when that's when you really get judged. You don't get ju- okay. You you can get judged for the regular season. You're a good quarterback. Like you said, we talk about Lamar. You win MVPs, but people gonna remember what you do in the playoffs. That's what matters the most. And if you they get can win the game, chance, yeah, they they, they can they, win the game. And yeah, the playoffs, I mean, like, depend, yeah, depending on the matchup and depending on you know the way they play. Um, but they got beat the best Sunday, and it's not gonna be easy. like it's a divisional game that we say it's gonna be. It's not gonna be um easy, Maybe. but. He playing well. If he played the way he playing, they should be they should be able to beat the Bears on Sunday. But they went in it as the seven seed, right? Yeah, they'd be seven, so they would have to go so to they Dallas. They said be going to Dallas. I mean, I I, I like Lafleur over uh, McCarthy. I, I, I won't. I That'd won't, be a good story. I won't rule that out. Yeah. That'd be a good. That'd be a good story to bring us back to our nineties. The, the, the them Dallas, them Packers, Cowboys matchups. You know, it used to be real back in the nineties. Shit, that's the last yeah. game Dak won, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> His rookie no, but, um, yeah, shout out to I mean, shout out to the Packers though. You know, the way they started the season, but they was like one and four, or something like that, two and five, something like that. So um the way the way they bounced back, shout out to you uh, before LaFleur showing that he can, you know, maybe potentially make the playoffs without Aaron Rodgers. That's big. Nobody thought, you know, because everybody was questioning make it's his success due to Aaron Rodgers. So we, we about to see Sunday um getting the playoffs, and like you said, when you've been in the playoffs, it's all about adjustments, it's all about health. It ain't about it's all about scheming and, and executing. Better team always win in the playoffs. If they they don't they always don't win in the playoffs. So it's about like you say about executing. Who, who's who's the healthier team? Who's the hotter team? It's true. So, yeah. It's true. Let's go to the first commercial break. Nitty gritty. This ad is brought to you by Lavelle Body. Lavelle Body is an all natural, handmade skin and hair care line for men, women, and children. So if your skin is dry, your hair is damaged, or your beard is having problems connecting, shop Lavelle Body today at LavelleBody.com or DM Lavelle Body LLC on Instagram. Again, that's LavelleBody.com or DM Lavelle Body LLC. Go with Marcus Wheaton. Go with Marcus Wheaton. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, Boston. Thing. He had a couple good games, but you know, players fuck up. He was, he was supposed what? to be next up. Yeah, where, where y'all drafted Mexico? What round was y'all drafting? Was we, uh, you remember? Third, fourth from OK State, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so salute to him. Wish you well in all your future endeavors. Keys, who you got? Um, who I, got? I got Julio Jones. Not, not. not and the only reason I got Julio Jones because I'm looking at I'm looking at the Philly box score, and this yeah, we got two, two touchdowns, touchdowns taking money yeah, off the team. That they got two touchdowns. Like why? Why is he scoring? You got AJ Brown. You I got Smith, AJ you got Brown touchdowns. I need everybody though. but Julio Jones. Hey, I'm like, yo, touchdowns. what are you doing? This and I, I forgot that he played with from some watching the game with Keith, and I'm like, who the hell is Jones? And the, yeah, like, like, who like, this who is this nigga Jones? Who this tight Who is? I'm like, who is this? This? I mean. I can't bang with Julio until he's going to the Hall of Fame from now on. I feel like he took money off, off, the, off the table for us. <laughs> so I, I holler at Julio, but I, I, it ain't nothing bad. <laughs> I, 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 I holler at Julio. I he going to the Hall of Fame. I, that's, that's I like you, is. dog. Pick <laughs> who you got. Oh, I got Jalen Milrow, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Bill was right. Yeah, Bill that's not right. I, I don't know, but yeah. was he, right. they should have won that we, game last night. We gonna talk about it, but yeah, yeah. Talk about fucking up a ticket. Keep who you got? <laughs> oh, Bill O'Brien is crazy. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Um, Had to I mean, Keys alluded. Keys alluded to it when we was talking about the Kansas City game. Man, I got, I got Travis Kelsey. Man. <laughs> Damn, nigga, yeah. run, nigga, run. Oh, look at my, look at this parlay, <laughs> man. The twenty-five yarder, twenty-five yarder. Is the twenty-five yarder? Is the 25 yarder uh, all the now that's you can't get 25 it. yards. Damn, sleaze. I play damn. Her. Yeah. And Roy yeah. right there. We're calling her bugs from now on. <laughs> no, we we not we bugs. not talking about we're not talking about uh, you know so we're talking about Travis Kelsey 25 yards. Like that should be good. Right. That should be so, the first oh, drive. That's a goat. My, minus <laughs> minus one thousand was the odd. And come I know on, somebody man. put a stack on that to win a hundred dollars. Like, come on, people be out here betting stupid. Mm. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, speaking, I had, speaking. I, we had every other 25 but that one. Like, come nah, on, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> Michigan defeated Alabama 27 to 20 in double overtime. Uh, not double overtime, in overtime. Uh, 
Jalen Monroe, yo, you had 60 yards at half, dog. I'm looking at the ticket like, yo. It was a good ticket, wasn't it, Scott? Yeah, it was a good ticket. A, um, a buck 75? Bill, why'd you have to be right? Football. Why'd you have to be right, but dog? It, but but for the uh, longest I mean, he had five yards, Key. I'm like, yo. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, but you gotta give Alabama. I, you got you got you. I'm giving some of that shit to Tommy Reeves and Nick Saban. They just called the horrible second half game, though. Like they ain't even let him throw the ball like that. Like they, 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 they just they just they, they ain't trust that nigga. They, yeah, they, oh, Bill was right too. <laughs> It was like the Eagles offense. They was like, get back here, just take our running every single time you get it, just take our running. It was God. and then the center, God. the center can't yeah, snap the center the ball. That motherfucker like, looked like Kendrick Green last night. But but like I said, before all that's the reason I, I understand the, the, the mill roll heat because people all, before all that they was they was winning the game what 17 to 10 and he went he fumbled the ball. Yeah, that yeah. that was the key to the game right there. They go down there and three points, the game is yeah. over with. That game is over yeah. with, they go down there and three. So yeah, he that that was just a bad fumble. Um, looked at, look he looks look unsure what he want to do right there. What they want to pitch it? He ain't tuck it. So yeah, that loss is I definitely get a loss to him. I don't I, I don't agree with the play calling, but he 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 got to play better than that, especially after all the talk about you can't come out and say Bill O'Brien said this didn't play like that. You feel me? Like yeah, that's, that's... Gonna, wait till after wait till you win the championship to say that. Like don't you didn't you put oh. a, 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 a bulls a, a bulls out on you now? Like because low key, <laughs> low key, like I respect Lamar's petty. Like every time somebody say something about him, he go out had one of them crazy ass games. Like I respect that. When you put your OC on blast like that, you supposed to go out there and have one of them type games. And all you did was make niggas say, "All right, maybe he was right a little bit. Maybe you should be around." People back. in Alabama, I, what? they were saying they were saying much oh. worse than Bill O'Brien. Oh my God, they call him everything but a child of God. Mm-hmm. Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> Drewski shit. <laughs> oh my god in the other game we got uh michigan was doing that in the locker room post game yeah yeah <laughs> they they annoying too though they michigan yeah, they, they, annoying, they annoy they, yeah, they, they, they annoy the hell out of me i, 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 I think i don't like michigan they take I on think the, one of them the say they they Florida state would have been a better opponent right like, right no, no, they, they haven't won a championship y'all niggas won it over time. how are y'all ta- why are you talking yeah, Yo, championship i wish they stopped saying that though because that's a that wasn't even the championship right remember i told you the last one they won was like in the 40s yeah like it was they Pearl split Harbor, that one in like '97, right? Yeah, when the Nebraska, yeah, they split. They it keep saying that's the last the time they won. The last time they won, like the white Eisenhower said Hiroshima. Was president, yo. yo, it was <laughs> crazy, yo. Oh, I think god. Eisenhower was president, yo. Like it was a long time ago. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they was like number one in the, the coaches. Detroit and Red and was walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's a Great Depression off this motherfucker. Oh man, Washington defeated Texas 37-31. And uh, all I know is M- MP's throws look like my explore page on Instagram. <laughs> nothing but dimes. Hey, I, hey I'm looking I at that I, nigga I, like he's six. Though. He's six. <laughs> I know, right? I, know. I wasn't. I wasn't familiar with Steve Sarkeesian's work, though. I, I will say that. I wasn't <laughs> Yo. Oh, what? Wait, yeah, let me make myself more Sarkeesian's work. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't think none of us saw that, but you you ain't said that. You uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, Yo, I didn't even see Steve. Like, what's yeah, you're trying to keep it to himself. You ain't want to share that. After, <laughs> after, 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 I dropped the Alan Rob piece. Like, yeah, you guys share. Oh my god, <laughs> Rob, man, I'm just saying he got him a sister. It, it's not a Rob. No, 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 no. It ain't man. a Rob no, no. shooting. A Rob shooting. Oh A-Rob. my god, Ow. are you serious? <laughs> That's him. Yeah. yeah, he got my sister. I guess she took him after he got after, after he was drinking the liquor and all of that. At <laughs> Shut the- <laughs> 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 just, just, she came and reformed the brother. You know, sometimes you need your sister to really oh settle you down. Oh, yeah. you know, you kind of crazy. <laughs> Wait, is that the first wife or the second wife? Because oh, I see she black. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm looking see. at the first wife. I saw the first wife. I'm like, all right. I don't know what she does. I know to she was a track. I know she ran track though. Oh, I got himself a little young thing too. Yeah. Oh, younger. Steve, pretty good. Steve, Steve like the swirl. That assert that that sold you right up. <laughs> yeah, that's like a drink. Oh, tank or get right your drunk, there, boy. It depends on perspective. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on perspective. He high off her life. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. But shout out to Washington. Well, I mean, like I said, sure. Washington, they've been undefeated all year. So they deserve to be in this championship game. Um, MP played great. Yeah, he did. 
He did. College, so college game is so weird because it's, it's no reason why Texas should still set a chance to win a game at the end like that. Like it's, it's weird how you know they yeah. <clears throat> college teams can't close out games for some reason. Same thing with Alabama, they just can't close out games. It always comes down, unless you're Georgia, it seemed like it always comes down to a last possession in college football. Yeah, they That's got for Georgia in there. Yeah, I don't care how many losses they got. Yeah, yeah, Georgia. Be, I mean, at this point, I mean, because it's going to twelve, Georgia never unless they yeah, they, they never they gonna they miss never another play. Right, right. They never gonna miss another one ever. This is not gonna happen. Well, I think Georgia blows Michigan out yesterday. They blow. They blow. Everybody Michigan out. runs away with this. Yeah, I mean, Georgia runs away with this today. Yeah. yeah, it's not even close. It's not even close. Y'all got any NBA before we get up out of here? How was that with uh next game, Nick? Mm. Uh, I mean, it was cool. It was fun, but the Wizards, Wizards lost, Nets right? is trash. Not the Wizards <laughs> one. The Wizards one. You ain't enjoy watching was that the game that they set everybody. Yeah. Huh. That wasn't that wasn't a game that. No, nah, they oh, set them first. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like yeah, the yeah, Nets yeah. watching the Nets, man. I couldn't be a Nets fan, bro. Like, <laughs> like, a, like no. to go from KD, Kyrie, and James Harden to watching fucking Mikhail Bridges running around and Cam Johnson running That's around. That shit is nasty, bro. Come on, they that said Mikhail KD. They said Mikhail KD two point oh. Oh, oh man, oh my god, can't even lock him in for fifteen points, <laughs> man. Like they, they, they're in hell. Nets fans are in hell right now, bro. Like they chose, they chose culture over contention, bro. That shit is crazy to me, but. That uh, Denny, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah, first round, pick. he had a good game, and I saw Winnie Harlow. Yeah, you know I mean, Shorty was. I seen. I mean, they was outside. It was you know, it was Chocolate City. They was outside. I wish I would have had that inside information before because I definitely would have ran Cools points up more than that. No, Cools was jacking. Cools had like twenty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wish out. I would have known she was in attendance before I put my ticket in because mm-hmm. I definitely would have. Yeah, you know, yeah. he, he kept shooting right in front of her too. Like he was getting his threes off right in front of her. You see that baby? Yeah, he was going in now. Salute. Salute. All right, man. We can go to the last commercial break and wrap up. Nitty gritty. Brand activation. Business openings. Recently engaged or in any life event that deserves a celebration. Start planning with Penn Jones event. Owner and principal planner Paige guarantees a fun and stress-free planning experience. Managing every event aspect, including budgets, timelines, vendor negotiations, event design, and more. Penn Jones Events is a full-service wedding and event planning company based in Mel. We curate extraordinary events tailored to you. Let's start planning today. For a free 30-minute consultation, visit pjevents.com. Good show, fellas. Good show. Definitely. Yes, sir. Appreciate everybody that listens live, everybody that checks out the podcast. If you view us on YouTube, we appreciate you. Keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll be back on Friday, same place, same time. Until then, stay safe and be blessed. We out.